Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2, along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so today continuing on with the Solana um, uh, theme, we're going to discuss the CLI tools, basically what they are, install them, and then connect to a cluster. So let's get started. So what are the command, the command tools? Well, let me show you here. They're basically how you do everything in Solana. Um, we've looked at these and pretty much every uh, blockchain has command tools. And um, these are very, appear to be very easy to get up and running and uh, different functionalities. You can see here, you can connect to a cluster, send and receive tokens, manage uh, staking, deploy a program, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's in let's install them. All right. So here is the installation, and we're going to do this on um, uh, the Unix. Uh, so Ubuntu. I think I have twenty one something. And let me make sure that you can see it, because if I don't move it, you're not going to see it. Okay, here it is. So, first thing we want to do is we need to get the um, software. So, we're going to copy this. This is a curl. And um, let me go to my thing here. Paste it in. And uh, let's see what happens. So it has to download it. We're running one, looks like 1.7.13. And it's doing its thing downloading. And um, then it's going to tell you to update the path. So. And, and actually, this is up to date because the documentation is providing the same. Oh, you know what? Let me stop this. I don't want this version. What I want to do is instead of 1.713, I want to do stable. There we go. Let's do it this way. Try it again. There we go. So this is going to download the um, download the software. You see, it looks like it's pretty quick here. Um, I do have a pretty quick connection, so that helps. And this is even quick, despite the fact that basically it's running. Um, it's connecting to um, my router wirelessly. I'm not directly plugged in. So, because the wire is in a different, the uh, router is in a different room. And, uh, fortunately, my um, internet allows you to get a, um, a little box that's kind of an extender. And so that is uh, just a floor below here. And then I have a, a, something plugs into the wall that connects to that. So now it's extracting. So it downloaded the installer. And then what it should do is, let's see, this is Windows. We'll talk. And once it extracts, then it should. It may tell us what version downloading stable or extracting. 
Okay. Close and reopen your turn to apply the path changes. Run the following. Okay. So we... Well, we're going to run this. Um... Paste. And what we're also going to do is I am going to go here and um, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Bin. Yeah. Bash. Bash R. Bash R. C. Let's see, uh, there we go, and I'm just gonna throw this in here so it knows. way we there we go and okay so we're in the dirt we're here and um let's see so what we want to do now is Copy this, which is tell us the version and one point six point two seven. Very good. And now we're gonna uh, connect to a cluster. So let's look at this here. Let's see what we get here. Config file. So this is telling me what we got. Our PC URL WebSocket. Okay. So now, check the cluster is targeting. So now its cluster is targeting mainnet. If we want to do the devnet, if, let me show you. I'm going to go back to the docs here. Because why not target the main net? <laughs> Although when we develop, obviously, you want to target the dev net. And this is how you would do it. You would just point it to the dev net. Now here's something cool. The versions. Let's look at that. Um, so let's have a look here. And it's just Solana version and Solana cluster version. And okay, you can, you can see they match. And what they say here is that this will um, uh, give you the best uh, behavior if the CLI is greater than or equal to the cluster. So these are exact, which makes sense. We download the latest stable version and we're connecting to the main net now let me show you going back to the install if you're using windows they also it's also a curl command and uh you're running an exe again you can let's see what they have here do they talk about the yeah so you can do stay. My guess is you can do stable here and here, and uh, then you'll end up with the same result: a cluster that is attached to the main net. So what have we learned? Um, we've downloaded. Uh, we've learned what the CLI tools are. Just briefly mention what they are and. You're probably well familiar with them if you've been playing with the blockchain. 
Uh, we did the install. We also copied the path into the Bash RC. So when we open up a new uh, uh, console, we'll have the right path. We looked at how we're connected here. Um, let me make sure you got that up. And you can see that. So we looked at how we're connected here. And um, then uh, we, we uh, checked that our versions are the same, which they are. Uh, we discussed how you can connect to a specific, cluster, a specific cluster. And we also went back and had a quick look at how you would do this with Windows. So um, hopefully this has been helpful and interesting and uh, this, this can actually get us started doing some hands-on stuff. Um, depending on my time, that may be uh, next week because I have a very busy couple of days coming up. But um, again, hopefully it's been helpful and thank you for watching and I will speak to you next time. Take care.